Hi everyone, hope that you are well. So today we will continue with the um, dispatch area and reception area for the for our industrial application. Um, last time in the video, in last video we finished the um, lighting solution for the two warehouses where we had compared a continuous line and a single point luminaire. Uh, if you have not seen yet the video, um, please check um, the l video lighting for warehouse to find out <clears throat> more about uh, this solution. <clears throat> but today we will dive into the dispatch and reception area. I will just go on the 3D <clears throat> so to see clear the space that we would make the lighting calculation today so this is the dispatch area and <clears throat> on the other side we have the reception area so today we will focus to establish the lighting solution for the two areas <clears throat> moving to the single space you can see the dispatch area in this 3d rend rendering and if you move to the reception area opposite you see another space so now just go on the on the entire um, lay, to see the entire um, layout of the of the building. Uh, it's in the in the front actually here in the front of the building will be far, we have the big um, doors where the trucks are coming to um, take the the goods out of the of the um, of the warehouse or uh, the production line and bring out the materials necessary for the for the production line so that's quite simple um just to let you know more exactly what we will do today this i prepared also a picture from the project which um, had been realized a couple of years ago where i established the lighting solution so this is a typical let's say dispatch and uh, reception area in a, in a warehouse um, where you can see three continuous lines <coughs> of luminaires mounting on different uh, on different height, and you can see here that we have just a um, small small items which uh, we don't have racks actually, so we just have the small items which later on will be taken with the forklift and just placed it on the on the rack system as you can see in the on the let's say right side of of these pictures and be because we have a low light uh, sorry a low height um, on this picture related to the dispatch and reception area then we can um, bring reduce the height let's say of the installation from like we have on the rack area around nine meters here we can just suspend the whole continuous line to I would say five meters. That's my my recommendation. And another important aspect when you establish um, a lighting solution for this area, you, um, you need to place the luminaire parallel with the main doors. As you can see, here are the main doors where the trucks are coming and loading and unloading the goods, which later on will be just taken by the workers with the forklift and just place it on the on the rack rack on the rack area so let's move back to the dialogues evo and start uh, working on the um, lighting solution for the two areas i will start with the dispatch dispatch area i will use as i said um a different luminaire i propose you to use um not double asymmetry like this one go for the wide beam distribution because we have also um i said low light uh, low height so we will install it on the um, fi five meters only and then i would suggest also to use um, rectangular alignment when you do the the proposal so that's a little bit simple that we don't need to to do um, a continuous line line by line in this case as we don't have any any shelves in this area uh, being installed uh, we have by default like 
three rows um, with yeah five luminaires in each row we can just double check the height because here the mounting height it's um, nine meters so as i said we go on the five meters as this is enough and i will just reduce i will say I will use a different display mode. I will say I will go four. Yeah, and yeah, that's it. Uh, another important aspect is um, to change to change the um, default settings related to the uh, to the application space. So I have done the changes. So I put on the space, the storerooms and cold stores and as an application dispatch and packaging handling areas. And if you want to check it, so a visual task, we need a 300 logs and the height of working plan is 0.8 meters above the, the floor level. So these are the requirements which we need to fulfill um, on the, for the dispatch area. Uh, the same thing I have done uh, as well for for the reception so we will let we will let the same uh, here we can just change it like this this is the reception actually and now the dispatch area as you can see it i go back and i will just move to the lighting and let's do it in this case choose the lighting and I'll just go on the um, rectangular so here I also because we have these offices in the place we choose a polygonal arrangement because we need to have that we don't have a yes as a, a perfect rectangular shape for um, dispatch area and then you can just choose the polygonal arrangement I will say you can just go on the the corners of the of the room when you do the lighting proposal and then you just need to yeah close it in this case and now we'll have the proposal from dialogue so again we have three rows um i would say we let it as it as it is and we just need to change the mountain height to, to three meters i have done already the definition of the space related and application i use the same dispatch and packaging handling areas as for the previous um, space so now we are ready to to do the calculation i will just go for a continue calculation um, to be faster uh, and yeah being um, I will call it quite a big project having a lot of luminaires inside I will not start um, all over to the calculation but just um, continue the calculation to to get some time to gain some time and let's see the the outcome of the of the result as mentioned previously it's important to uh, install the luminaires parallel with the main doors uh, where the trucks are coming you just unload um, and unload the, um, the goods um, actually this page area or reception area is just a transit so from here the goods are just moved uh, to the um, to the production plant uh, production line in, the, in our case or um, to the the two warehouses so that's the, the goods will not stay more than a couple of hours in that area good so let's see the results um, we have a lot of uh, rooms inside of this uh, calculation I will just go on the dispatch area so first one we have a 284 so we're below the 300 requested so here we need to, to add more luminaires definitely and if you would move on to the next one you see we are 294 very close but still not enough so seeing these results then we just jump into the next 
And I would say if I put another row, then and it will add more cost to 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 the whole installation, let's say. But if we have already the lines there, I would just add um, a luminaire into that light. And here I would just use it. Um, let's see if we can add another luminaire here. Yeah, I think it's not possible. And I'll just add then four, I'll put five. Just a sec. I think it was not taken in account. Yeah. So here we can just add a fifth luminaire. Yeah. So now now we are good to go um, let's redo the calculation but in this case we should be okay most probably and <clears throat> another important thing it's um, which light distribution curve um, i recommend to to use for these areas i would say go at minimum with a wide beam or if you have also available for your product use a very wide beam so to have also very good uniformity and try to use as less products as possible. Just another aspect, I will just jump to the picture, the previous picture so you can do also different level of height installation as you see here when you are close to the uh, rack areas you can lift a little bit um, the height like two meters to to facilitate the forklift to enter to the rack areas and the other two lines which are close to the main um, main door you can just lower it to five meters as i did it in in our case of course on the row close to the uh, main doors we have also a different height of the ceiling so there it's a must that you cannot um, have a higher installation of uh, of five meters but just to remember you can use also for the dispatch area and reception area different heights upon of um, yeah, customer require, requirement or safety reason to not uh, hit the lighting um, system uh, by by the workers which are taking the the pallets from the dispatch area with a forklift and place it on the on the rack area so let's move back on the dialogues and let's see the overall results on the dispatch area we're good 366 so we are above the 300 that that's really good and 366 actually we have the same result that's astonishing it was not my plan to have the same same lux level we did it so yeah let's see on the 3d how it's looking the whole facility so yeah i like it so as i said we don't have any shelves here and then we just have yeah a good lighting uniformity so that's really good and uh, moving on on the side i just prepare a little bit uh, also the material for the for the next video where we have um, an area where we use the pole lighting i want to the street lighting uh, here on the let's say interior area where the trucks are coming in and out uh, from the production and warehouse uh, to facilitate uh, the load and unload uh, of the trucks i use a um, couple of projectors with um, asymmetric distribution um, it's very important that the drivers can park correctly or uh, on the on the ramp area or the access area on the main on the main door and just facilitate the load and unloading of the of the goods inside of the of the factory but more details uh, about the light level which luminaire i have be, been used for outdoor lighting i will come back to in the next video so that's all for today um, if you enjoyed the video please hit the subscribe button
give a like as well to promote um, the videos.